Come with me to my 10-year college reunion at Yale. I feed and kiss the kittens before heading to Grand Central, where Nathaniel's waiting in front of a talented trumpeter playing Let It Go. We get onto the Metro North and immediately go to bar for their mashed potato bacon pizza, which yes, I do think is the best pizza in New Haven. We stop by the welcome event for a bit, but the drinks are way too sweet for me. The next morning, I put on sunscreen and a hat. Yes, those are the secrets to good skin and meet a friend at a coffee shop where the cold brew is under $4. What? I then walk around campus with one of my college BFFs and her husband and marvel at how Yale has changed. Broadway now has fancy schmancy shop, Slackstone Money renovated the Hogwarts dining hall and built a whole new wellness center. Just look at that nap room. And even the parts that haven't changed, like my favorite library to study in and my favorite study room to cram for finals in, fill me with deep nostalgia. After an evening of stuffing my face with cheese and seeing familiar faces that I haven't seen in five years, I wake up the next morning at six, absolutely dying because the hotel's AC is broken. I lie around a bit longer before meeting friends at Atticus for much needed coffee before attending Amy Chua's lecture on political tribalism in America. Quite provocative and evocative. I say hi to her briefly before tearfully saying my goodbye. 